Hi guys, it's Kathy with Design by Kathy. Glad you joined today. Today we're gonna do a, another acrylic pour project. This time we're going to be using what is called the swipe method. So let's get started right away. Uh, we're gonna have gloves on and hair up. Okay guys, so I have already mixed up my paint, but I want to tell you what we're using today. And we're going to be, uh, def we're going to be putting this on a 10 by 10, 10 by 10 canvas. All of these are uh, ap apple barrel paints. I've got bright blue, new shamrock, nutmeg brown, Bahama Blue, and Fuchsia. I've also added to each of these paints, I've mixed them in a, a, a set, this is a um, seven ounce cup. So there's probably maybe three, three and a half to four ounces in each one after I, I put the paint. And then probably added about two tablespoons of the Liquitex Professional Pouring Medium. This product uh, helps your paint go further, we want the product, the paint to flow uh, evenly across the canvas or flow nicely across the canvas. So this, this product really helps do that. And like I said, stretch your paint further. And also, this is <laughs> treadmill lubricant. It's a, sil a silicon lubricant. And there's about two to three drops in each one of these little cups. And so, let's get started here. Need my gloves. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna use today that with this swipe method, this is like a, I'll turn it right side up where you can see this one. I think I got this, I'm pretty sure I got this at Joann's. This is a cake decorating uh, tool. It's, you know, when you do the icing, an icing tool. And more or less, it's gonna look like we're kinda icing a cake when we do this particular technique. So let me get started here. Okay, what I'm gonna do, um, I want these different colors to come out in different places, uh, in different ways across the canvas. So I'm gonna pour uh, a little bit of the, the brown, I'm gonna pour a little down here, and I want a little up here. You can do it more uniform if you wanted to. Um, I wanted to, I've done it the uniform, a uniform uh, way, but I just really wanted to give this a try. And let's see what it'll do with our colors here. So we're gonna keep kind of pouring these in various areas across here. Just a little green here and there. And I think I want a little bit more of the brown. I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna layer a little bit on top of that, the brown on top of the green. And I think, I don't, I think I, I, I could use a little more pink, but yeah, maybe we'll add a little pink in there. And uh, a little, we need a little blue up here. Okay, for my teal color or my Bahama, uh, my Bahama blue, I am going to make a little run of this all the way around 
the edge. Okay, so now the fun. Let's take our little cake uh, icing tool and I want you to gently, gently, not mash it in all the way to the canvas, but I want you to gently take this and stroke across. Now you see what that did? It covered up all my colors. But, uh, oops, don't despair. I do want a paper towel, I like to kind of keep it cleaned off going back and forth. Now we're gonna take it, and again, very lightly, and we're gonna go back over and see what kind of colors we can get. So don't worry when, when this like covers it all up because uh, it's just like, again, ice of a cake. And we're gonna we're gonna just swipe it back. It's kind of a back and forth thing, but just remember, I think the the main thing is to be gentle, gentle, gentle with it. Cause see, I didn't wipe that off. I just want you to see what that would do. But I'm gonna wipe back over it. on this little corner down here. Now, if you'll notice, you're gonna to start to see these little spots show through. And if you hear anyone talk about, you know, being able to get these fabulous cells in your acrylic projects, that is what those are. But this is forming them all on their own, no special tool or trick. And there's no um, no right or wrong way to to do your your swiping. Again, be, have a very gentle hand going across. You see, as soon as I swiped that, you see those little cells started coming back up. But I don't like way that kind of just chopped off there, so I'm gonna take it and go over it just a little more. Now you can see the brown is coming through really lightly. The green is, is just coming through. Like, I like the way that just made its own little, own little thing there. Uh, I don't know that I really want the pink, so I might try to pull some of the pink out and maybe some of the blue, oh, blue or, you know, the brown back in and give it a little different look. Okay, there's a something there. Let's get rid of that. Just keep swiping and, you know, see if you don't like what it did, swipe back over it. Don't be afraid to try this. Um, I'm using, like I said, the 10 by 10. Um, once you get comfortable with uh, doing your projects on these 10 by 10s, then graduate to whatever size you want. Um, <clears throat> we're not gonna, we don't want this to do like we've done in the other videos where it flows, where, you know, where we do the, uh, the dirty pour, where we don't want, you know, we need it to do just what it's doing. I don't want to flow it down because that's going to give it a completely different look. But this this way, it's, it's just popping up these little cells and bringing out the, all these colors that we put in there. But the, the uh, oh, Bahama, I don't know why, I, it's teal looking, but anyway, the Bahama blue, um, I love that. And I wanted that to kind of form, oh, there's a little spot there I might need to, I might have raked a little too tough on. But again, if you don't let it, let's see what happens there. And immediately, you start seeing the little cells come up. 
in the painting. I chose these five colors just because, I don't know, they made me feel good. Uh, I like the colors. I uh, think I might have preferred a little bit lighter pink with what I had in my mind, but I don't. I like this just just, just fine the way it is with just a little bit of pink coming through there, and then um, <clears throat> the nutmeg brown and a little bit of green. <clears throat> anyway, like I said, this is five colors. Uh, I wouldn't go less than four. Uh, Keep one color, you know, your one color to go around the edge to start your first swipe. And then you're just gonna continue to go back and forth. You're gonna keep swiping over it until first of all, you know, also you want all the paint to run over the edge and I can't see over there without sticking my head in the camera to make sure it's covered that area. But over here, it's completely covered all the way around. But yeah, this is kind of fun, you, you know. <laughs> If you like to ice cakes, which I'm terrible at it, I wish I, I wish I could make cakes and ice them and make them look pretty, but I can't even do cupcakes worth a flip. But there you have it, folks. Clearly, on a, a larger canvas, you know, it's gonna take you longer. You're gonna have to have to be a little patient and take a little more time with it. But that's why I suggest, if you are starting out with trying these new techniques, to start out with the smaller canvas and and get a feel for it and get an idea of what you, you know, how you wanna play with the colors, how you wanna place the colors, and then graduate up to whatever size you wanna make. Make it, make it for your house or make it for a friend or make it for your kid's room. To me, these playful colors would be great for a, a kid's room. Maybe put some little turtles on it or, um, you know, sea life. It kinda looks like a, a the, what are the rocks in the bottom of aquarium, you know, and the, um, anyway, that's, I guess living at the beach, everything reminds me of that. I'm gonna see if, as always, I wanna take my Solo Cups and I want to see if I can, I'm gonna get this out of my way before I make a even bigger mess, but I wanna see if I can lift this up without leaving fingerprints everywhere in it and taking my parchment paper up with it and without tilting it, because if as soon as I start to tilt it, you'll see the paint start to move. So I wanna see if I can hold that pretty steady and I'm gonna put these down. And this is so your paint can continue to run off of the edges. So it will cover your edges all the way around. Let me see. I've got one that's covered. So you can see how it's flowing down with the different colors here. Let's turn it that way. You can see that edge, it's flowed. Yeah, I see my, the edge I couldn't see. Clearly, I need to do, help it a little bit. But I've got a lot of paint left down here. And, you know, use that paint. <laughs> Pick that up with my little icing tool. So there you have it. This is called a swipe method, acrylic pour swipe method, and I hope that you'll take the time to try it because it's a lot of fun, and it's really fun to watch the colors do their own thing. Hey y'all, I hope you like this uh, acrylic swipe technique that we did today. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Uh, or if you have any, you know, any 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 comments that you'd like to leave me, I'd, I would appreciate it. I'd also appreciate a like. I would be happy with that or, and a subscribe. But for sure, if you like it, a like would be great. Just give it a, give it a try. Get some paints. I'll also leave the uh, down below uh, detailed list of the products that I did use today. And instead of, uh, you know, calling this thing uh, 
okay, and I sing doohickey, I will give you the exact name of what I used. Thanks for watching. Whatever you do, make it yours, make it personal, and you can do it.